If you're considering installing solar panels on your roof, but you're not sure if making the attachments to your roof are gonna cause leaks, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video because I'm gonna show you the three different levels of waterproofing protection to make sure that your solar installation won't cause any leaks on your roof. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping homes get set up with solar power systems and get help protected from a loss of the electric grid. And so that means we've done hundreds of homes with roof mounted solar panels. And what I'm going to be showing you today is how the actual attachments to the roof are made and the multiple different levels of waterproofing protection to make sure that the roof doesn't leak once the solar is installed. Now, the system that we're looking at today is the Quick Mount L Mount from Quick Mount PV which is one of my preferred mounting solutions. But just about all solar rack mounts use the same three steps. So I'm gonna walk you through them one at a time here. The first step is the silicon sealant that goes into the pilot hole. Now when you make your structural attachment to the roof, there's gonna be a quarter inch pilot hole that's drilled into the roof rafter and then there'll be silicone sealant applied before the actual bolt. There's a four and a half inch lag bolt, which we'll show you in a moment, that makes your structural attachment between the solar mounting system and the roof structural support itself. So you have silicone sealant that goes into the pilot hole first. The second step is your aluminum flashing with a raised bevel. And what this is, is it, it's about the size of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and this aluminum sheet actually interleaves with the shingles around the roof penetration and it allows rainwater to flow around it without actually going in the hole. You'll notice that the, the bevel here is raised as well, again, to allow rainwater to flow around the penetration. And then finally, in step three, we have a, usually it's a four and a half inch by five sixteenths diameter stainless steel lag bolt, which will actually bolt through all of these into the rafter itself and it will actually compress down once it once it bites to the rafter. You'll notice at the top of this lag bolt there's a, a rubber gasket washer, a neoprene gasket washer, which makes your third level of waterproofing protection. So the key here is you have to make sure that you identify your rafters, that you hit the rafter, and once that bolt comes down and compresses the entire assembly, you've got a completely waterproof connection. Of course, guys, if you have any questions about the content here or about uh, roof mounting, roof attachments in general, you can post a question in the comment section below. And of course, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't done so already. Well, thank you for watching this video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.